Hi guys. Today we are going to do um, a volcano picture by the artist Margaret Godfrey. She does. Um, she's done a series of um, uh, volcano pictures, and this one we're going to. I'm going to pick this one. I quite like doing. So we're going to have a go at painting this together. So all I'm using is just a water paint okay so we're just going to use that today and then you just need a paintbrush and a water pot okay and just um, maybe a tissue just to clean your brush on off on and just make sure it's clean okay so what we're going to do just going to put this to the end so i can sit there and look at it so for the first bit uh, we're going to use a pencil and we are going to just do just an arc really just as our guide so we're just going to come up i'll do mine heavy you do yours really light okay so i'm going to go back you do yours so you barely see it you don't want it to show through your artwork i'm just doing a heel that's going to be the <coughs> <clears throat> the base of our volcano. Sorry, I just need to drink my throat to dry now because I'm next to the radiator. <coughs> right, next bit we're going to do. First of all, let me put this here. We are going to use a dark blue. Okay. And we're going to create... So just wet it down and we're just going to create little um it looks like on the picture like little swirls so i'm just going round as i'm painting you could paint it all straight across like this paint it all straight across why it's still wet and then we can add the dramatic can you see i'm just adding some dramatic swells so let's just paint all that across now if you're finding it i've got too much water on here but if you're finding it really really hard and your paint's not coming out add some more water <coughs> not too much water you just need enough so we're just going to paint all of this top shape i'm going to do it all side to side and then we do those swells see my paint's just starting to run out so it's just I'm getting really hard to move so just remember stroke the paint so we're going to stroke the paint don't um go like this and dig around at the paint no good for the paintbrush and no good for the paint as well so I'm just going to keep on going painting this side to side All the way across. Okay, I know what I should have done first, but we'll do this on the next bit. I forgot myself a bit. Rushed ahead. Right, so I'm going to just give it some areas a little bit darker. She looks like on this one they've got she's got quite um quite a darkish sky. I think I've always done it quite yeah I've just looked I've just done it quite pale before so I'm gonna try and darken it up and see what see what it looks like it's always good to keep them trying right so what I'm gonna do I'm just give my paintbrush a little wet now some of these areas she's got some bits of red in as well I'm just gonna use a bit of red and then I'm just going to swirl some. So you get some of these purple blotches, especially on the heel top. Not so much down here. And then I'm just going to put some of this dark red in. It's almost like a really deep burgundy red rather than the brighter red. So I'm just going to put some in. Let's just paint some on top first. 
just doing it willy nilly at the moment okay right now let's give my brush a good clean now I'm going to swirl it up a bit so just add a bit of water to your brush just to loosen the paint back off and can you see I'm just swirling some of it up not too much so I don't want to create a big purple mess when the sky is supposed to be blue. So all we're trying to do, I might just add some more blue on because it looks like I'm taking it a lot more off. Or maybe taking too much off. And all we're doing is just up and down, very gentle movements. So we're just creating some drama in that sky i'm just going to put some back over here because i've mixed too much um a bit too purpley so i'm just going to bring some of the blue back in okay so you can see that i've got um a nice dramatic sky now what's happening is and this let you into this I added a bit too much water, so as you can see, I'm getting all these little dark bits. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But that's where the paper's starting to get too wet and lift off. So just be careful, okay? So we've got some drama in the sky. Now, what I should have done first before we've done this is just use pure water. Now, mine's going to be a bit dirty now, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to wet the next bit down. Just net wet the water down. And that's coming out pretty clear at the moment. It's not too dirty. I'm just going to give it... And why sometimes we do this with watercolour? It just allows the paint... Dampens the paper down and allows the paint to move more freely. I'm just going to come... Try and get across this side... There we go. So it's not sopping wet. We don't want it sopping wet. That's too much. I'm going to do that. Right. The first colour I need is like an... It's like a pinky yellow colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Let's put my paint... Can you see my paint paint? Yeah, you can just see it top there. I'm going to use this mustard first. Let me just check this out. Yeah, that must have fine. It's, it's a warmish yellow rather than bright yellow. So what I'm going to do is just paint over the hill. Now imagine this is a, a sad face. You're going to follow the curves a lot of the time on this. So I'm following the curve. And I'm just smoothing it across. You see, I'm just smoothing the paint. Now, you can see it's getting quite pastely, so we can add more in as it gets darker. Um, as it uh, dries off, sorry. It's going pastel as I move it across. Now I've covered my area. I can add. You see, I'm getting that nice dark lava looking watch the edges don't forget the edges okay why that's still wet they have used or she has used um a bright the brighter yellow so I'm just going to wet that down now the wet we're going to put the brighter yellow in this corner Just in this corner, you can just about see it. Drain some of my water off, it's getting a bit too. Let's put some more paint on, just a bit more. Just in that corner. Okay, next bit clean brush. Always clean your brush, don't forget, clean your brush after every go, guys, because otherwise, it just makes all your. Um, paints all dirty 
Right, next colour they're using, I think I want to use this red. So I'm going to go for the bright red. We'll just test a little bit. Yeah, I think that's about right. Always have a scrap bit and test. No, I haven't got a scrap bit. Right, now I'm just going to do this over the top. And you see I'm coming down. Now I want this quite thick, so I'll just put a test coat on. Now I'm going to make sure I've got lots of paint on my brush. Because I want that coming out a lot darker. Over the top. And that's just coming more down this corner. So the other side was more lighter. And this side we've got a bit coming down. And we're not trying to copy her work exactly. But we're just trying to get something... Because she does everything in symbols, so we're just trying to get very similar symbol of work. Yeah. This is going to be quite hot. Let me just turn it around and see if we've come down far enough. Maybe we could come down just a little bit more with that yellow in places. I'm just going to come down a little bit more with that mustard. And bring it down just a bit more. Just so that I don't get any gaps come in between the colours not much should be enough right next colour I'm going to use is green now I'm going to use that um, clean your brush and then I'm going to use that this bright green so a bit of water on don't want too much water because we don't want to flood the paints some of you tend to stick so much water in the paint is actually swimming in there so we don't want that so now we go up so I'm going to do the outline for you on this one so it goes up into a up into, into the yellow into a point comes down comes up a little let's put some more paint there's a wiggly sort of line and comes up over the heel and then stops okay so that's our green line now we're just going to make it a bit thicker and deeper okay and this would be the grass this would be all the lava and this would be the earth and the grass that it's just running over the top of so this comes right the way down up down and we can still do it in that sort of sweepy movement now we want this to be a really darkish bright green so we can add lots of paint on and less water now we've marked it out I'm just going back over mine and just making it darker Keep on stroking lots of paint on both sides of your paintbrush. Over and then we come up and over. More paint. And then it comes down. Down, sweeping all the way down to there. these are going to look really good so if you have a go at watching this one and then when you feel ready these techniques you can have a look at some more of her paintings and have a go at trying some on by yourself okay so it's looking quite good looking at the screen not looking bad okay next color we're going to do let's bring the picture back over is we are going to do this big red area okay i think we are going to paint this in an up and down direction it looks like it's all the rock all sort of breaking up and coming up from the ground and already been burnt by the the volcano so we're going to pick the dark deep red again so we want that dark burgundy red if you haven't got a dark red you can mix a bit of um, maybe a bit of brown with it 
and a bit of a uh, bit of brown, brown maybe a bit of blue in there as well. To make it that sort of purpley look. Sorry guys, the kitten wanted to come back indoors to be now. It's getting dark. Okay, let's go paint this straight up and down. So make sure it's nice and dark. What you could do is add um, some pink tones if you want to. Now I'm doing mine a little bit fluffy at the top. Try and not make it too fluffy, okay? Because then we, we can always put um, the black line that goes over this. We can disguise it a little bit. Going up and down. Now I can't get round to this angle. Hold on. So I'm going to pause this and I'll carry on doing the angle and then I'll come back to you. Hold on. Right, guys, now you can see the shape I've got. So what I did, you can come up, you can have a little bump and then it comes right up almost to this green without going to the top and then it sort of sweeps off to the side. Okay, so you're going to fill that all up and down. That next bit we're going to do is I've got I'm going to use the brighter red because this has got almost like a it's a very funny sort of pinky tones in it. I'm just going to bring that red and blend that in. Now remember, I keep on accidentally going over the top and doing um, little bits of colour where they shouldn't be. Be really careful, okay? So try and keep it. I know I'm at a silly angle I'm doing this. So you can bleed, put some red over the top, blend it down. This is good practice for us um, blending our colours together. Up and down. Okay, and you'll do that. I think that wants to go all the way across, you know. So it's just a bit too wet. So always start from one side, work to the other side, go back, uh, start at the beginning and work across. That allows the other time side to dry off a bit. So I'm just going to do that because uh, mine's far too wet. Last colour I'm just going to add, I've just looked and I want to add bit of brown so it's the third one it's sort of this sort of reddish brown I'm just going to add this side because it looks like it wants to be darker on this side get plenty of paint on and I'm just going to make this side darker is it going to be that brown or not no nope, maybe it doesn't hold on let me have a test and the other brown let me test yeah, I'm going to go with the other brand. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go with the darker brand. So this one is almost black. And I'm just going to blend that down over the top while it's still wet. And that just gives that just a bit in the middle. And this you can do it a bit more random. It's a bit, it's a bit dark up the top here. Now, I said use um, card for this. You definitely probably because of all the water you're going to need card because um or two pieces of a4 stuck together um to make it a bit thicker just because the water and what happens is it it tends to tear once we uh, get too paper too wet i don't want no one upset with their masterpieces um, where else do we think there's a bit of dark? Just 
mainly across the bottom here so I'm just going to do it a bit sporadic a bit all over the place so I'm not doing it in any uniform place okay so what we've done there and I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this now to dry and let all this sky dry off a little bit and we'll come back for part two of the video okay see you soon